My dad and I are helping a family update their patio for an episode of Today's Homeowner, and I'm dying to add some curtains. It's gonna help add some cozy, but also block the sun when they wanna watch TV out there. So today I'm gonna show you how to dye drop cloths to create curtains. It's the perfect rainy day project. To set up my dye bath, I'm laying plastic down before setting my kids' plastic pool on top. When you're dyeing something as large as curtains, you can also use a washing machine or your bathtub. For smaller things, you can use a sink or a bucket. To get my curtains ready, I'm going to add them to the pool and add hot, hot water. Once they are thoroughly wet, I pull them out and set aside while I get the dye bath ready. I'm adding most of this container of salt and two squirts of dish detergent to promote level dyeing. The drop cloths I'm using are six feet by nine feet, and I'm dyeing two of them. So I'm going to use four bottles of Ritz liquid fabric dye, three in navy blue and one in denim blue. Mix in a separate container before adding to the pool. Oh, it's so cool watching the dye slowly take over the drop cloth. Since the first 10 minutes are the most critical, I'm going to stir continuously to keep it from getting splotchy. Then I'll check the color to determine if I want to dye it longer for a deeper, darker color or call it done. Keep in mind, it'll lighten a tad once it dries. After the dye is the way I want, it's time to rinse the excess dye. Then I'll wash in my washing machine to set the color. Over at the Today's Homeowner Project, I'm mounting these brackets to the underside of the beam and using an extra long curtain rod to hang between the opening. Then I add curtain rings and attach the drop cloths. Now this family is ready for lazy afternoons on their new patio.